Hey everyone, uh, I'm just starting this off so I can see how much time I've done. Um, hey everyone, uh, my name is Ira, for those of you who don't know, and um, for those of you who do, hello again. <laughs> um, I was watching, um, I was watching a YouTube video this morning about lesbians dating trans men, and I've seen these videos before, and I've formed my own varying, you know, quite varying <laughs> opinions about them, and, and about, you know, identities and, and sexual orientations and things like that. One thing that I find within the YouTube com uh, community, and in a lot of, you know, um, FTM communities, is that it's like this, this staunch, uh, I don't know, argument that lesbians, because the definition of lesbian is someone who likes, you know, someone who identifies as a woman and likes women, that they cannot, <laughs> they cannot like you in a romantic or sexual and or sexual way and affirm your identity simultaneously. And that's simply not true. Like, it <laughs> it's something that, like, needs to be talked about. Your sexual orientation as an identity does not dictate who you like. It does not dictate who you have sex with. Um, you know, gay, gay men have straight sex all the time and straight men have gay sex all the time. You know, the same goes for women and... <laughs> And the same goes for gender queers, although, like, the whole concept of gay is really weird when you don't identify within the binary. It's like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I have experienced that quite a bit. It's like, well, yeah, okay, so we're both gender queer, but we don't feel the same kind of gender queer. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's not, like, it's, it's totally your place, you know, as a trans man to say, hey, I don't feel comfortable dating someone who identifies as a lesbian. And that's, you know, and that's fine, I guess. Um, I don't know how I feel about that, but it's not my place to tell you what you can or cannot do, and that's my point. Um, just as it's not your place to identity police lesbians, and it's not your place to police who they can or cannot sleep with um, based on their identity. Um, you can certainly put up a boundary and say, hey, I'm not going to be one of those men that you sleep with, um, and that's okay. Uh, that that certainly is more than okay, obviously, because practicing good consent is super awesome. Um, but basically what it boils down to in, in FTM circles is the need and the desire to tell people <laughs> what they can or cannot do. And, and this is, you know, this is body policing, this is identity policing, and it simply isn't cool. I understand that... I understand that you're only looking to be with people that affirm your identity, and you're only looking to, like, even if it's by their existence, they affirm your identity, you know, like, yes, I am, I am a man, I am in a heterosexual relationship, and the, I know for a fact that the woman that I am with sees me as a man because she identifies as straight, and it's just like, I know lots of women who identify as lesbians that have sex with men, um, and, and it's not, just because somebody chooses to be with you despite identifying as a lesbian does not, it's not a, any form of commentary on whether or not you are man enough. It is not any form of commentary on your body, it is not any form of commentary on your identity, on your masculinity, um, anything, anything like that. And, and at the point in time where it does become those things, it's not because this person identifies as a lesbian but it's because they are undermining and disrespecting your identity. Um, and it has, it has nothing to do with their identity, if that makes sense. Um, to, to attach this label that, oh yeah, okay, so lesbians don't date trans guys because they see them as women. Or, like, lesbians shouldn't date trans guys because they don't see us as men or whatever, and, the, and that lesbians trans, date trans guys or, like, they try to or whatever because they see trans men as women, it's like, that's not true. Um, sure, a lot of what lesbians do see trans men as women and see us as like some, I don't know, predatorial entity that tries to garner male privilege and refuses to accept the fact that we are secretly women or whatever and like, you know, everybody knows about dirt and all that bullshit. Uh, <laughs> um, those, those people do exist, but that also exists within straight women as well. Um, so, I just, uh, I, know, I guess I just want to reiterate that, like, one, it's not our place as trans men to tell lesbians who, you know, 
who they are allowed to be attracted to despite their identity. It's not our place to tell lesbians how they can, you know, can or cannot identify. Um, it is only our place to be able to set up our own boundaries around our own bodies and our own lives, right? And, and, and attaching behaviors to an entire group of people based on their identity is, it's wrong, basically. Uh, and, and, you know, this is where, you know, oppression stems from, really. Uh, we don't, you know, we don't particularly have privilege in, in, in certain ways or whatever, but we, th that doesn't mean that we can't garner it in other ways. And when we have access to male privilege and we say things like that against other women, people trust us more. Um, and so that could be incredibly damaging, uh, especially if we're viewed as, you know, especially if we're seen as straight, um, and we identify as straight and garner straight privilege. And so we need to, we need to be careful about the misinformation that we spew and, um, Especially to, to to younger and by younger I mean like newly realizing their identity like younger trans men um, because it's 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 a scary enough process as it is and we don't need to we don't need to create this you know myth that lesbians are going to like freaking prey on you and and they're doing so so that way you know that they can you know take advantage of you and not recognize your identity and things like that and that's simply not the case just let. Um, it's going to, it might happen, it may very well happen, but it's not because this said person identifies as a lesbian. Um, and so yeah, that's, uh, that's my two cents. <laughs> okay.